I'm Eric Smith, and this is an excerpt from my autobiographical series. My life, and not so much a nutshell, but more of a melon rind. And this is from the first of those four books. February of 1999 found me waiting for school to start. I was standing beside my best friend Mike in front of the East Middle School. Mike was looking out over the crowd. He was looking for his girlfriend, Shayla. There they are. Mike pointed over toward the street. I looked in the direction he was pointing. Shayla and her cousin Erica had just been dropped off. Mike and I started toward them, weaving around the mass of students waiting to go inside. I followed, followed him over to a small snow pile and felt the ground leave me. In full cartoon fashion, my feet slipped and I landed hard on my back. I didn't know how badly I was hurt, just that I was in major pain. Mike and Erica each gave me a hand, but it didn't help. I could hardly move. Shayla summoned a teacher who helped me up. Are you okay, son? He asked. I, I don't know. Was all I could respond. Let's get you to the nurse. Ten minutes later, the nurse was looking me over. Mrs. Eggleston deemed me okay to go to class. I think I need a doctor, I responded. I think I know better than you do, she replied snidely. A few minutes later, I walked into Mr. Angeline's first floor classroom. He wasn't there. Sitting in his desk was a blonde, overweight female, a substitute teacher. I handed her my note from the nurse and sat down in my usual seat behind Mike. You look awful, he said. Thanks, I replied to my friend. A voice in my ear said quietly, What happened, Smith? I turned around to see my least favorite person sitting right behind me, Brian Baxter. An overweight jock with a bad attitude and low intelligence. Leave me alone, I responded quietly. He replied by pushing his oversized knee into the small of my back. The pain was instant and intense. The bell rang and he got up. As he walked past me, he made extra care to smack me in the head with his backpack. As I swore under my breath, tears leaked from my eyes. I couldn't help it. I hated crying at school, but I was in so much pain. The substitute teacher walked over. Are you alright? No. I stifled back the tears as best I could. Brian is always mean to me. My back hurts so much. Why don't you go back to the nurse's office? She smiled. I'll walk you and we can take the elevator. Ten minutes later, Mrs. Eggleston was on the phone with my grandma. Your dad is coming to get you in a cab. The doctor did some x-rays and other tests. I had fractured my back.